Bobby Osborne, known for uh, the past 50 years, 50 plus years, as the mandolin half of the Osborne brothers. And for all the 50 years, um, what did you and Sonny do to make Osborne brothers sound that was so different? Well, we we changed our harmony. Uh, uh, we put the lead on top, had the high lead on, on top of the, and the other two parts under that. And uh, uh, Dusty Owens, a gentleman was at Wheeling, West Virginia, wrote a song called Once More. And we liked it real well, and we asked him could we record it, record the song, and he, and he said, yeah. So um, uh, we got the lyrics to it and learned it. And on the way home back to, uh, we lived in Dayton, Ohio then. On the way back, my son and me and Red Allen, we just got to messing with that song, and we just we got to singing the putting the high part on top, and uh, we sang that song 200 miles through, oh, boy. <laughs> and uh, we it, it worked out fine. And still, yeah. it's what I do today. Well, let's talk about what you're doing today. You brought that up. What's doing with the Rocky Top Express, your band? Well, I joined uh, when my brother retired. Yes. Uh, he first of all, in case anyone don't know, but his, on his left shoulder he had rotor, rotator. Uh, cuff surgery right. and uh, about a year ago I guess he had a stroke in his right side so it affected his uh, his right. picking hand and uh, the ro rotator cuff surgery affected this so he he sang with me for a little bit and he he told me he said it's just it's, it's not right to be standing here trying to sing and and not, not play it so he just uh, he was he just went ahead and retired and, and I I couldn't see me quitting so I, I kept going and He's happy with what he's doing. I see him once in a while. Good. He's happy with what he's doing, and I'm happy with what I'm doing. That's the, the main thing is course, happy. Uh, yeah. Of course, the band, my, my my band name had to be something connected with Rocky Top. Uh, without a doubt. So it had to be Rocky Top. My son, he came up. We had Rocky Top Express, but we thought uh, EXPRES, but we thought that maybe somebody else would, would have that in a business of some kind. And he said, let's put the X in there. Rocky Top X dash right, right. I -E -S -S. So I said, that's it right there. So that's what that's what it is today. So tell me what the band has been doing. You got some albums out, Bluegrass Melodies is one. That's the latest one. That's a, and uh, then the, the uh, previous one was the first release on Rounder, and Try a Little Kindness yes. was the title of it. And uh, they've done very well, and I'm happy. I'm happy with them, and happy with the Rounder Records and uh, the sound that we get on the uh, on the song that we. Ch chose my producer is a great fiddle player Glenn Duncan and uh, he together with me have put together uh, the CDs and uh, they've just turned out good and Rounder's happy with them as long as you make it your your label happy there then you go. you're okay we gotta we, make the listeners happy too that's exactly right that's, it. that's what we've tried to do to pick out songs that would that would um, make the people uh, happy to listen to them you know Sure Why did you take a, uh, a title for like Try a Little Kind of Old Glenn Campbell tune? Where did that idea come from? I, years ago when I heard Glenn sing it, I just I always wanted to record it. My brother and me never got a round to it. And uh, I thought, well, that was one of the first ones I picked out to, to record. And then listening to it, for the other titles that we had, uh, the other title songs, uh, Try a Little Kindness, it just fit the occasion, so we use it for the title. How does Try a Little Kindness differ from Bluegrass Melodies? Bluegrass Melodies is a slow ballad, okay. real slow ballad. And, uh, uh, Sonny and me recorded it years ago on uh, Decca Records and later became MCA, and it was only released on a 45 RPM, and we always got requests for it. And uh, when the 45s became obsolete and the CDs took them over and things like that, well, uh, nobody could buy it, so when he, we came down to the, this newest CD, well, I, I thought it would be appropriate for us to do the song again, so we, we recorded it once again. The Bluegrass Melodies, now go back to Try, um, try a Little Kindness. You have some Stanley Brothers on there, you got some uh, Hazel Dickens on there, you got a Chris Christopherson song on there. Right. Do you have any of those artists on Bluegrass Melodies? Any? No, no, it's just, just my, me and my band. Wow. Yeah. How does your stage show change from when you were with Bobby to the Rocky Top Express? Uh, it's about the same, other than I try to do some of the songs that I've recorded for Rounder right, Records. Sure. And I'm, 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 I'll never be able to get away from the Osborne Brothers sound, because no. 
every time I open my mouth, somebody says that's Hollingsford, brother. Yeah, you got it. But I, I'm not trying to get away from that. But I, I do some of the uh, standards like Kentucky and yeah. some of those, and Ruby and Rocky Top that he and I did. But mainly, I'm trying to get me a little bit of a sound of my own, and it's working out pretty good. Are you able to stretch out a little bit more with your elbows and the sound now, of course, to, right. without mm -hmm. Sunny yeah. there? Yeah. Looking back over the 50 years. You guys had the harmony, you had the music, you had the lyrics, you had the instrumentation over all them years, as sure. you said earlier. Right. I see. That made the difference. Because you had to differentiate yourself between Stanley's and Monroe and and um, Jim and Jesse and all those boys. We felt that we needed to do that because uh, Monroe, he had he had his style. Each each one of those groups had their own style, and uh, they invented that, and yeah. we had to invent ours. We 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 thought we needed to do that. To, we, I mean, when Monroe and Flat and Scrubs, when they got finished, and the Stanley Brothers, when they got finished with a song that they had written and recorded, they was no, and today I still believe that. There ain't no use of anybody else trying to no. overcome that. No. So the ones I recorded for Stanley Brothers, they were some of my favorite songs, but I did a, I did a different arrangement with them, so it made them a, a little bit of a new song to, to let's, my audience. Let's talk about something that's happening right now. It's September 07. Bobby uh, joined the Kentucky School of Bluegrass and Traditional Music faculty on his hometown of Hayden. Talk to me about that. Well, uh, the uh, Hazard Technical Community College of Hazard, Kentucky, decided they would start a new program. And Hazard is about 20 miles away from Hayden, my hometown. And uh, my cousin, Dean Osborne, uh became the director of the, of the school. And it's called Kentucky School of Music. Kentucky School of Bluegrass and Traditional Music. <laughs> so, there you go. And uh, they're giving mandolin lessons, dobro, guitar, fiddle, banjo, and uh, so he asked me would I be interested in teaching people to play the mandolin. I said, I don't think I can. I can teach myself, let alone, but I decided to try, give that a try. So, but they wanted the school in my, it wanted to be in my hometown, being right. I was going to be a teacher sure. there. So it's worked out real good, and I'm really happy. It's on the... It's on the internet, Kentucky School of Bluegrass and Traditional Music. Were you guys, you and Sonny, were you considered first generation bluegrass? Um, yeah, we yeah. would be in that category. Be in that category. We, I, I mean, uh, you got Monroe and you got Platt and Scruggs, Standard yeah. Brothers, Don yeah. and Red Smiley, and uh, you got us and Jim and Jesse. Yes. So I, I after it leaves, after it leaves there, why it became it. Become uh, new grass. New grass. Yeah. So I think it, that would be uh, correct to say that. What's What's left for Bobby Osborne, who's been doing it since how many years? Nineteen and fifty. Well, 50 I started nineteen forty-eight. There you go. Officially. What's left for you to do? Right? Continue on. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to quit. With as long as I can sing. Top Express man. There you go. <laughs> as long as I can sing, I'm going to I'm going to keep going. What advice do you have for those young whippersnappers that are starting out today into the world of bluegrass? Well, just. Keep on picking. <laughs> <laughs>